If you're a real estate investor and are wondering how to raise and leverage private money to make more profit on every deal, then you're in the right place. On Raising Private Money, we'll speak with new and seasoned investors to dissect their deals and extract the best tips and strategies to help you get the money, because the money comes first. Now here's your host, Jay Connor. Well, hello and welcome to another episode. And today's topic, I'm going to answer the question, how do you get more offers accepted? Let me get right on to answering the question, how do you get more real estate offers accepted even when your offer is less than your competition? Well, three ways. The number one way to get more of your offers accepted is to offer all cash. Now, here's what my experience has been, and I'm going to show you in just a second how you can have more cash available at your fingertips. Um, here's what I've discovered over the years, folks, and that is even when I'm talking and my team is talking with off-market houses, what we mean by that is properties that are not in the multiple listing service, when we negotiate with those people, obviously, we're going to first try to buy those properties on what we call terms. We try to buy the property if it has a mortgage subject to the existing note. Uh, if it's free and clear, we try to buy the property, um, you know, with seller financing. But here's what I've discovered all the way back to 2003. My wife and I have been full-time real estate investing here in Eastern North Carolina. Uh, since 2003, started using private money in 2009, got 44 private lenders right now funding our deals. But what I've discovered over all these years is only 17% of for sale by owners, off-market houses, off-market owners, that means they're not in the multiple listing service, will sell to me with on terms. What do the other 87% require? You know the answer, right? They require all the cash, all the cash. So when you make a cash offer, you get more offers accepted. So your question is, well, Jay, how in the world do, you know, how, how do I have the cash to offer? And the answer is hands down private money. Well, if you don't have any private lenders, I can put you on the fast track. I am the solution to that problem if you don't have any private lenders. Private money. Having private money at your disposal, what I call money sitting on the shelf, that you can make more offers, right? Um, you're going to get more offers accepted. So if you do not have private money, I want to give you right now, I, in fact, I just finished writing this just a few weeks ago, my brand new money guide, and this money guide is titled, Seven Reasons Why Private Money Will Skyrocket Your Real Estate Business and Help You Build Incredible Wealth. This is absolutely free. You can download it uh, when we finish Free Coaching Friday, and it will put you on the fast track to private money. In fact, Chad, if you don't mind, since you're watching, uh, type in the comment bar right now the URL for this free money guide, free information on getting a lot of private money very, very fast. And that URL is www.jayconner.com -E forward slash money guide. Again, that's www.jayconner, J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com forward slash money guy. I'm answering the question, how to get more of your real estate offers accepted. So I just went over the first one. So I'm giving three ways. The first way is to be able to add, to be able to offer all cash offers, right? Because the majority of those off-market uh, houses and owners will not sell to us on terms. All right. The second way to get more of your offers accepted 
is to be able to offer a fast closing, a fast closing. Now, most real estate investors, unless they've got private money at their disposal and they're having to buy on terms or they're having to go get a, a mortgage and borrow money, they're not going to be able to close fast. Now, I will tell you this, one of the secrets on being able to close fast. Oh, thank you so much. Let me see who put that up there. Uh, Mike. Thank you, Mike McDaniel, for putting that in the comment bar where people can download the fast track to uh, private money, jconnor.com forward slash money guide. So the second way you can get more offers accepted is by offering a fast closing. Now, first of all, in order to be able to close fast, you've got to have an amazing relationship with your real estate attorney or whoever is doing your title searches and whoever your closing agent is that you can get on their schedule um, to get the deal closed. Now, if you are buying on terms, if you're buying on terms, you can close fast. I mean, you can close fast. Now, let me tell, let me tell you what I give all of our uh, potential sellers, FISBOs, off-market houses. We tell them in our offer that we can close in seven days. That's right. In seven days. None of the rest of your competition, in all probability, is going to be able to make that offer and stand behind it. In fact, another way that we get more offers accepted with this fast closing offer is we will say, if you're still in the house, you can stay in the house rent free for whatever period of time that we both agree upon. That's a huge, unique selling proposition or a unique buying proposition. I like being able to close fast within seven days, right? And give them their money. Now there's another secret to that. When you're buying on terms, as I was saying, one of the big secrets to being able to close fast, I'm answering the question today, how to get more of your real estate offers accepted. I make my offers that I can close in seven days. Well, there's two ways that I can close within seven days. First of all, as I just said, we got to have a relationship with our real estate attorney to do the title search. I get all of my title searches done within 24 business hours, right? And as I said a moment ago, you can offer for them to stay in the house for free, rent free, uh, for whatever period of time that you agree upon. That will get more of your offers accepted. But let me share with you a very, very important point. And that is, if you offer to give them their money, close within seven days, then do not give them all the money. Hold a portion. Hold at least a thousand or two thousand dollars back from what they're going to be getting until they are out of the house and you've done a walkthrough and the entire house, you know, is all cleaned up. Unless you have made your offer that you're going to just buy it as is. If it's inherited property, they can just leave the stuff in the house. So you can close very, very quickly when you're buying on terms, only if you have that relationship with your real estate attorney to get fast um, title searches and to be able to get on their schedule very, very quickly. Now, if you're you if you're having to offer all cash if you're having to offer all cash well you got to have the private money lenders lined up and as i said when you're talking to fizzbos only 13 percent of those off-market houses will they sell to you on terms and creatively so when you've got the cash and you can offer to close within seven days absolutely you're going to get more offers accepted so the number one way is have private money, all right? The, the second way is offer fast closings and allow them to stay in the property if it is occupied for the period of time that you agree upon. I will tell you, I typically do not give them more than 30 or 60 days at the most to stay in the property, all right, <clears throat> for free. The third way to get more of your offers accepted is, and this is a writer downer, the third way to get more of your offers accepted is to make your offer absolutely clean as possible. What do I mean by making your offer clean? 
What I mean by making your offer clean is don't have all these contingencies. In other words, you want to put in your offer no appraisals, no appraisals. But you see, when you're using private money or you're buying on terms, you don't need an appraisal. None of these private lenders that I'm talking about are going to require an appraisal. So what am I going to use to, for me to know exactly what the value of a house or property is? I'm going to use my Realtors CMA, which of course stands for Comparative Market Analysis. I get all of my CMAs from my Realtor, typically within 24 business hours. Now, these CMAs are going to tell me what the after repaired value is, not the as is value, but the after repaired value. Now, my realtor will not have to go to the property and walk around the property in order to give me the after repaired value. The reason for that is because my realtor knows that when I rehab a house, what kind of condition that that house is going to be in. It's going to be absolutely beautiful with granite countertops or butcher block countertops. Uh, all interior paint will be new, etc. So my realtor knows how to give that to me, but when I'm making my offer, and we're talking about getting more offers accepted because your offer is clean, that means hardly no contingencies at all. So I'll say no appraisal. Um, I'll say as is, you know, at the, the quote as is where is. Now, if there's a major rehab involved, I am for sure going to get a home inspection. All right. I don't write into the offer that that's one of the contingencies because the contract that we use actually has in the contract that we can get out of the contract if we have a home inspection and we find, you know, uh, other problems. You know, Murphy lives in every house, so we may have to renegotiate the price. But as far as the written in contingencies, I want to say no appraisals. And look, I want you to write in your offer um, that you uh, do not need to get approved for a loan. It's going to be all cash. This is an all cash as is where is offer. And let me ask you this question. Can you make your offer say in writing all cash and still get a private lender loan? And the answer is absolutely yes. So there, let's recap. Those are at least three ways that you can get more of your real estate offers accepted and beat out your competition. Number one, be able to offer all cash offers, and you're going to be able to do that by having private money lined up ready to go. The second way you're going to get more offers accepted is, well, the third way I said was clean, right? The second way is be able to offer fast closings. All of my closings I offer be able to close within seven days. And then the third way is make your offer absolutely clean, right? And those are three ways to get your offers accepted. So I got a question for everybody watching, whether you're watching on the live stream or you're watching the replay. As you know, I help real estate investors raise a lot of private money for their real estate deals. And if you need private money, then you need to get to the upcoming Private Money Academy Conference. You can check it out and click on the link in the description. I'll be there live in person all three days and you'll get plugged into all the funding that you need for your real estate deals. Check out the link in the description and I'll see you at the Private Money Academy Conference.